Happy Monday, everyone. It's Dr. Lena Haji, licensed clinical psychologist. I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the DSM-5-TR. So I've gotten many comments saying things like, oh, the DSM-5-TR is outdated and we need to move away from it. And it's written by a bunch of old white males. And so yes and no. I want to first say that the DSM-5-TR is by no means the be all and end all to evaluation, assessment and diagnosis. And the DSM-5-TR was primarily written in order for clinicians to convey to each other in a quick and dirty manner, a cluster of symptoms that a patient is experiencing. So for example, a patient might have a psychologist for testing, a psychiatrist for medication management, a therapy for treatment. And although best practice indicates there should be consultation between those providers, sometimes that's not always possible, especially in the forensic arena where record review are pretty much the way to communicate. And so a diagnosis from the DSM-5-TR is simply giving somebody a small piece of information about what is going on with that patient. Furthermore, it really was not developed for layman's use. It's developed for people who are trained in diagnosis. So don't self-diagnose, understand that it is limited and that it also is a useful tool. Those don't have to be mutually exclusive and that its primary purpose is for mental health providers to communicate with each other.